This is your daily devotional from the inspired will of God. January the 17th, the faith I live by, linked to the divine. Second Peter 1 verse 4, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through us. The Savior took upon himself the infirmities of humanity, and live this sinless life, that men might have no fear that because of the weakness of human nature, they could not overcome. The prince of this world cometh, said Jesus, and hath nothing in me. There was in him nothing that responded to Satan's sophistry. He did not consent to sin, not even by a thought did he yield to temptation. So it may be with us. Christ's humanity was united with divinity. He was fitted for the conflict by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And he came to make us partakers of the divine nature. So long as we are united to him by faith, sin has no more dominion over us. We need not retain one sinful propensity. As we partake of the divine nature, hereditary and cultivated tendencies to wrong are cut away from the character, and we are made a living power for good. Ever willing of the divine teacher, daily partaking of his nature, we cooperate with God in overcoming Satan's temptations. How this is accomplished, Christ has shown us. By what means did he overcome in a conflict with Satan? By the word of God. Only by the word could he resist temptation. It is written, he said, And unto us are given exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Every promise in God's word is ours. When assailed by temptation, Look not to circumstances or to the weakness of self, but to the power of the word. All its strength is yours. Grasp his promises as leaves from the tree of life. Him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. As you come to him, believe that he accepts you because he has promised. You can never perish while you do this. Never. Maranatha, the Lord is coming soon.